Amen, amen, amen. 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 We amen. welcome you to the Divine Direction Christian Center amen. upon the great leadership of Bishop All Charles right. and I just love my church pad like that. Amen, amen. At this time, we're going to stand for a word of prayer. Amen. Those of you that can. Yes, Lord. And then I'm going to ask all the children to come around to the altar. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, sure. Y'all lying on up up here. Come on, sure. Amen. Come on, baby. Making school and covering. Yeah, y'all come on up here. Sometimes it's good to go back to your old roots and go back how your grandparents used to do the stuff. Amen. We used to go to the altar and close our eyes and Amen. talk to the Father and yeah. give it all over to Him. And all right. When we left, we knew everything was going to be all right. Be all right. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Be all right. Amen. So I'm going to ask the kids to just close your eyes. Those in the audience, you know, how you do it. But I'm going to try to start training my children. Because they're the church of today. All right. Not tomorrow. All right. But today. You will die for me. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm so glad you set me free.
Amen. How many of y'all ready to bless the love me? Y'all may be sitting too. Come on, bless the Lord with me. Come on, bless the Lord.
Amen. Give me all the hand praise at this time. Amen. 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 I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. All right. Sometimes we have to remind the Father how much we love him. All right. Through the good times, through the bad times. Through the ups and through the downs. That's right. Amen. Through when it leans, seems like ain't nothing going right in your life. All right. God is still there. He's still carrying us through our storms. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's still carrying us through our situations. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. He's still opening up doors when the doors should have been closed. Hallelujah. He's still making a way out of no way. Oh, I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Your Bible scripture today is coming from a book of Jim Dumeron. The 20th chapter and the 4th verse. And when you got it, say I got it. And if you see it coming, say I'm coming. I got it. 20th chapter. 20th chapter. And the fourth verse. Fourth verse. Amen. 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 Everybody got it. I got it. Yeah. Open up your Bibles. I never known a love like this before. Oh, I just want to say that I love you more than Sometimes you have to use wisdom even in the house of the Lord. 
And with my praise team, their voice was leaving. Because they've been working mighty hard for the past two weeks. So why put more strain on them when you don't have to? Amen. 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 So to heal and be ready for the next go round. Amen, amen. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. I thank y'all for praising and worship the church as a whole. Y'all did an awesome job. Keep up a great job. Amen. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 4. Amen. I saw all of those that can't stand. Anytime the, the word of God is being written, read in the house of God, the order is those that can stand, stand. That's right. Amen. Because this is God's word. We stand to give reverence to God's word. I'm going to read it the first time, and then I want you all to read the same verse in unison behind me. Amen? Amen. 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 Verse 4. For the Lord your God is he that goes with you to fight for you against your enemy to save you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, house, let us read the same verse. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 4. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Amen. To save who? You. For the Lord your God is he that go with who? You. All right, let's make it personal. Me. Myself. Me. Me. Go with me. Go with who? Me. me. All right. All right. All right. To fight for you. Me. Against your enemy. Uh -huh. To save you. Me. All right. So we're going to do this thing one more time. We're going to make it personal. Okay. Folks, you find me trust God. Uh, we're going to make this thing personal. We're going to move on. Our bishop got a word for the house. And we ain't, we're, we're, we don't put it on time. We can just do what God say do it. We keep it moving. All right. So I want y'all to know who's fighting for you when you feel like okay. you're all alone. I want you to know and I want you to understand who's with you even in your darkest hours. All right. I want you to understand that it might look like the storms is weighing you yeah. down, but your God is carrying you right. through. Yeah. I want you to understand that when the light bill is due and you ain't got the funds that God said don't worry about it. That's right. It's in his hands. Right. When your family asking up, God said don't worry about it. Put it in my hands. Right. When you cast all your cares yeah. upon the Lord, it out. The song writer says Jesus will work it out. If you let him, he will work, work it, it out. out. So Jesus will work, work it, it out. out. If you let him, he will work, work it out. out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See, some of y'all ain't made it as you. Some of y'all haven't arrived. Some of y'all still want that pity push. When Jesus is trying to work it out for you. When Jesus is trying to fix it for you. When Jesus is fighting a battle against your enemy All right. for you. So verse 4 says, again, and I want you to make it personal. When it says you, and I want you to say, I. Or me, say me. me. He's working out for me. me. Okay, then. For the Lord, your God, is He that go with me. me. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna work that out right there, right there. I'm gonna go back to verse four because y'all wasn't loud enough. So you gotta make the devil mad. You gotta stomp on the devil's head. You gotta let him know that you belong the child of God and you are God's children. And no matter what it looks like, your father got you. When you're being evicted, your father got you. Right. He say everything is going to be all right. The more you praise God out of your situation, the better you feel. The more you praise God out of your situation, God begin to turn it around for you. The more you praise God, the more you praise God, the more you praise God, God is working it out for you. Give them some praise. Come on, put them hands together. You 
got to learn how to praise the way out of a situation. And give him thanks. For as well as it is. All oh, we bless the Lord. God is a good God. Yes, He is. Oh, we bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. God is a good God. Oh, yes, He is. Yes, He is. God, praise. Put them hands together. You've been too good for you to sit down on them. You've been too good. They brought you from a mighty, mighty long way. Some of y'all got delivered on some stuff yesterday. Some got delivered last week. That's why you come to give God praise. want to come out of a situation, start giving God praise and thanks. Start giving Him praise. Stop looking at the situation, just give God praise. Just tell Him, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Because He got it. It's already worked out. Don't worry about how it's going to work out. It's already the worst out. It's already in your face. Huh? It's already in your face. Oh, we bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, yes, Lord. Give God some praise. You want to see yourself coming out? Give God some praise. Let's see yourself coming out. Let your situation to change. Give God some praise. Now it's time to give Him praise. Stop holding back. Stop holding back. Let go and let go. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. scripture that is in the Old Testament says if thou would only praise me. That's all God said. Just, if thou would just only praise me. And when you learn how to give God praise. See, it, 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 it's so simple. That was a formula that was put together by King David when he wrote the 150th division of Psalms, when he said, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. So the door was open for everybody to give praise. Everybody is entitled to give God praise, to give him thanks, praise and thanks. Then when we get to the New Testament, 
There's a writer by the name of John. John says, they that worship him must worship him. Must do it in the spirit and in the truth. And in the truth. But glory to God, he didn't leave out you couldn't praise him. You may not be where you want to be. You may not even be where you used to be. Come on, Bishop. But you have a right to give God praise. Yeah, yeah. That's your God given right. And if I was you, while that right is still in your authority, right. I would give God some praise. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. It wouldn't matter who looked on, how they felt, or how they thought about it. All right. Because I know who woke me up. This yes, morning. yes, yes. I know who breathed the breath of life into my body. Yes. It wasn't my wife. It wasn't the cell phone with the alarm on it. But it was Jesus. Amen. It was Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That said, get up. Rise up. For this is another day that the Lord has made. Yes. I will rejoice and be glad about it. I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Because he could have left me sleeping. If he had left me sleeping. The ambulance would have came to pick me up. Mm. I'd have been laying in a morgue. Y'all didn't get that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when we come to the house of God, we act like God owe us something. Mm. What you say now? What you say? Well, I showed up, Lord. So what you got for me? You're supposed to show up. Right. You're supposed to come with expectations. Mm. Looking for something mm -hmm. from God. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's all. I just want to let us know. The whole purpose of, of coming to church, we come to get strength. We come to rejoice with one another. We come to lean on one another. We come to where we can build a relationship with one another. We come to where we can learn to trust one another. Because if the people of God can't trust one another, you in bad shape. All right. I say it again. Hello, YouTube and Facebook. I say it again. If you can't trust the people of God, you in bad shape. It's done got crucial if you cannot trust the people of God. That's the truth. But we thank God today. We thank God for everyone that is here. This is the first Sunday. Of the new month. And I don't know if anybody has, in reality, has paid attention to new time. New Y'all notice now how fast time is moving? Mm -hmm. It seems like in two weeks, this month will be gone. <clears throat> Must not last like they used to. So that tells me that. Time is winding up. And I'm reminded of what Jesus said. He said, except he shortened the time that no flesh would be saved. That's right. Come on now, you better follow the Bible. That's right. God is shortening the time. For our sake. Yeah. He's shortening the time. Don't think when I got 10 years, 15 years, I can do it then. That's not a promise. Tomorrow's not a promise. That's not a promise to you. Young people don't think you've got 20 years because you don't know that. That's right. You hope and pray that you do. <laughs> that you get to that mature age. But I was reading, I, was, I looked over scripture this morning where Jesus said, he was talking to the disciples and he was telling them, he said, now, there are some of you that standing here won't see death, That's right. but you'll see the Son of Man right. coming back in glory. Yes, Lord. You'll see the Son of God. So somebody's going to be here uh -huh. walking, talking, partying, doing whatever uh -oh. when Jesus cracks the sky. That's right. Somebody's going to be here. Uh -huh. Somebody's going to be here. 
somebody's going to say, surely, grandma was right. Mm -hmm. Surely, granddaddy told me about this. Yes, he did. But I just didn't get it together. Mm. Because on that day, uh -oh. it's too late. It's too late. Because the scripture says he's coming with 10,000 of his saints mm -hmm. to judge the world. But if I was you, I would make up my mind today which way I want to go. Young people, you're not too young to be saved. You're not too young to die. You're not too young. Get the Lord in your heart. Ain't no better life. There's no better life. And I've been in this thing quite a while now, but there's no better life than a saved life. Yes, yes. Amen. I ain't found nothing no better. Mm. I thought I knew better when I was in the world. Right. All of the partying and the clubbing and everything I did. I thought I, I thought that was life. Mm -hmm. That wasn't life. But when I came over on the Lord's side. The transition showed me the difference between existing and living. All right. There's a difference. Amen. Those that have the Bibles, turn with me to the book of Acts. We want to look at two scriptures, maybe three, however the Spirit of the Lord be. And when you have it, you can say amen. Acts 27. Acts is called the book of Acts because it's the Acts of the Apostles. Things that Jesus used his servants to perform and to do. Amen? Amen. Jesus is still using people today to perform miracles to do certain things so that people would know he's still operating in the earth. Y'all got that? Yeah. Acts 27. We want to talk about staying with the ship. Yeah. Staying with the ship. In other words, if you're in the church, stay with the church. <laughs> I need to say that again. Mm -hmm. If you're in the church, stay with the church. Because in the, in the last day, everything is going down but the word, but the word of God. Amen. You stay in the church, everything is going down but the church. Jesus told Peter after Peter had, after the, the father had allowed Peter to see his son's transformation. Jesus told Peter, said, now upon this rock, I build my church. And the very gates of hell shall not prevail, what, prevail against it. God wants to build a church in you. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all miss, come on now. That's true. Mm -hmm. He wants to put a church inside of you. I ain't talking about no church where you got to have people pastoring and all of this. I'm talking about the church in you. Yeah. How do you get the church in you? Through the word. If I get the word in me, I'm getting the church in me, huh? right? right? Come on now. So the more I'm, I'm around the word and the more I get into the word, the more my church grows. Amen. When I'm not in the word and when I'm not in the church, I'm liking something. Mm -hmm. But the more I can stay into his word, guess what? You're growing. So you ought to see your church. Your church is your personal church. Right. You, you are your church. This is a building where we come to praise him and worship him. Yeah. But yeah. you, your church goes wherever you go. That's right. Because that's your church. Yes, Lord. Yes. You are the representative. You, you are the head of that church. Because the church is where? Yeah. It's in you. And a lot of people don't realize that a lot of people have not been taught that they think that just when they come to the building, they're in the church. 
But the church itself, according to the scripture, is a body of believers that come together to praise and worship and glorify God. But your church goes where you go. Wherever you go. Your church goes there. Because that's your church, right? That's your church. That's not DDCC. When you, when you become a member of DDCC, you become a representative right. of DDCC. But your church is in you. Amen. See, there's a difference between a representative and then saying, my church. Because a representative, that gives him or her room to go out there and do whatever. All right, all right. But when the church is in you, when it's locked down, Tied up, shackled up in you. Yeah. Your church said we don't do that. That's right. Come on, Come on, bitch. Tell it. Your church said I can't hang out there like that. That's right. right. You Come gotta on. have a standard. I said your church. Come on, Bishop. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's the difference between them. So I'm using the subject. Stay with the ship. Yeah. Stay with the ship. All right. Stay with the ship. What is the ship? The church. Well, the ship hurt me, so I ain't coming back. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Church ain't did nothing to you. The ship didn't do nothing. The ship just sails on in the direction that God has it to go in. The ship ain't did nothing to you. Maybe the person that was sitting beside you said something that you didn't like. Maybe the person that you thought was with you, you find out they wasn't with you, so you left the ship. All right, now. I'm going to show you something in Scripture where God used Apostle Paul Come on. to let them know that if you stay with the ship, yeah. you won't be lost. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You can jump out the boat now whenever you choose. Yes, you can. But if I was you, I'd stay with the ship. Acts 27, chapter 27, verse 31. Look at this. And I'm going to start at verse 30, but I want y'all to look at 31. And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, guess what? Now, there's a storm. That's a storm out there. Amen. But he says that they, as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship when they had let down the boat into the sea, under color as though they would have cast anchors out of the four ship. One ship, big ship, they jump out the little ship, get on a small boat. You may take your seat. Amen. But watch this. He says, as the shipmen, shipmen were about to flee. In other words, you're in a big boat, storm coming. You're going to jump in a smaller boat. That don't make sense. <laughs> now, if, 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 if I'm on a big boat and there's a small boat, I'm going to take my chances with the big boat. The big boat is more equipped to handle the waves and the storms is more secure. But now, when I jump in a little ship, you ever been in a little small boat? Yeah, and it capsized on you. Waves coming over the boat on you. So look at it like this. When I think I'm riding in a big boat, I'm really in a small boat. People want to put you in a big boat, brainwash you when all the time you're still in a small boat. Making you think that. So Paul, he, he tells them, he said, now, when they let down the boat, Cast out the anchors. They're going to step out of the nice big boat into the small boat. But watch what he says in verse 31. Paul says unto the centurion, oh, and the soldiers, except these abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. My God. Let the ones that want to jump in that little bitty boat, let them go ahead on. But the word came and said, except you stay in the big boat, you won't be saved. That's right. Except you abide. Abide means to stay in it. Yeah, yeah. 
You, you stay right there. Even though it's a storm going on in your life, yeah. you stay right there. Right. Even though you don't feel like everything is all right, but you stay right there. Yeah, because if you stay with the ship, yeah. you won't be lost. Right. But now, if, if, if your storm gets so heavy that way, you want to say, I want to throw my ink out there and I want to get out this big boat. I want to get him in a little boat because I can move faster in the big boat. Mm. Don't let the enemy fool you. That's right. Right. Miss out. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Don't let it. When the word came, Paul said, Jesus gave Paul the word. He said, Tell everybody, stay with the ship. And if they stay with the ship, they will not be lost. Amen. Now, some folks were hard headed. Some of them jumped out, got in a small boat. How you gonna get on a small boat when there's a 90 foot wave? But you down here. What's going to happen to you? You're going to drown. You're going to drown. See, when when you got to know who's on your ship. Mm -hmm. The man of God was on the ship. The man of God had orders and instructions to stay with the ship. And he told them, so now if y'all stay with the ship, y'all ain't going nowhere. How many times people, the, the instruction will come, but people will turn a deaf ear. Mm -hmm. To the instructions. Paul, when Paul got the instructions, he, he was comfortable. Amen. It doesn't matter how, how, how high the waves got. It doesn't matter what the storm looked like. Paul relaxed. Amen. When the storms come in your life, if you trust God, you'll learn how to relax. Amen. That's the key. Yeah. If that little bitty word, but it carries such a mighty weight. If you can trust God through your storm, yes, Lord. anybody can thank God and praise Him when the bills are paid, yep. you got some money in your pocket, yep. food in your icebox. Yep. Yeah, you come in church in, hey, 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 how you doing, girl? Everything is well. Oh, we're doing good. But let something get low. Yep. Come on, bitch. Let a, let a bill get behind. Yep. Come on, bitch. Huh? Been there. Come on. Get the way you can't really function like you desire. Yep. Can you trust God then? Yep. Can you can you stay with the ship then? Yeah. Come on. Or will you want to jump out and get into a smaller boat? Oh, Just because a smaller boat comes through looking like it's all right. Mm -hmm. But that ain't the boat God said for you to get in. Yes. The ship is coming. The ship is where your anchor is. Yes. So if you can stay with the ship, you won't get lost. And even in that story, that was a, they, they, even though they got shipwrecked, but they all made it to an island. Mm -hmm. They made it to land. Thank you, Jesus. Safe. Safe. Because God said he, he, he had already given them the instructions. Yeah. Then when Paul made that statement, then in verse 32, it says, Then the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat yeah. and let her fall off. Mm -hmm. In other words, let it go. Let it go. That's it. Clip it. If you got a boat riding along with you and it's holding you back, let it go. you better clip it. Clip it. These soldiers did what? Let it go. They cut the rope. Yeah. You know why? Because that was unnecessary weight. All right. Ain't no point in dragging dead weight. Not carrying dead weight. Hmm. Me and dead weight don't get along. I ain't carrying nothing that's, that's not producing. That's right. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I carry something if, it not, if it's not producing, if I hold up, why keep tugging on something and pushing something if it's not producing? Yep. Pastor can't do it. Done did that too long. Mm -hmm. I choose to stay with the ship. Because you know who's ahead of the ship? Jesus. Amen. You know who's driving the ship? Jesus. Jesus. You know who's directing the ship? Jesus. Jesus. Not me. Jesus. So who's driving your ship? Jesus. That was the question now. Who's driving your ship? How does he drive your ship? Leads in direction. Huh? How does... How does God drive your ship? Yeah. You have to allow him first. Yeah. Yeah. 
You have to allow him to get on board of your ship. Yeah. You got to allow him to take control of your ship. Yeah. Yeah. You have to allow him to be the captain of your ship. Yeah. You have to allow him to do this. Because you're not first, not even second. He is. So if God is driving my ship, and, and there's a storm up the road, and I see the clouds, and I, I hear the thunder, and I even see the lightning in my life, but God is driving my ship. Amen. That's why when storms come in your life, you got to stay in the ship. Amen. When hard times come, you got to stay in the ship. Amen. Amen. When it looks like nobody cares no more, you got to stay in the ship. Amen. You jump out the ship if you want to. You're going to get lost. All right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if wife don't want to go, she want to get in a lifeboat. Bye. 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 I'm staying with the ship. Mm -hmm. If my BF don't want to go, see you. I'm staying with the ship. I'm holding on to the ship. I ain't worried about that lifeboat. That lifeboat ain't going nowhere. But I know where the ship is going. Because right. I know who's in control of the ship. I know who's got the ship. And see, when, I, when you're riding on the right ship, you can go to sleep. You ain't got to worry about the directions. You got a navigator that never sleeps. He's wide awake seven days a week, 24 hours a day. He's always watching out for you. But sometimes we got to go through some storms. No ship has ever sailed the ocean where everything was just calm all the time. Oh, they had to go through some storm. Yeah. But they didn't get off the ship. Come on now. They stayed with the ship. Yes. You got to learn how to stay with your ship. Yeah. Stay with the ship. Yeah. Even, even, even when the storms come. And storms going to come in our life. Yeah. Some of us going through storms now. All right. Amen. Some of us are at the point right now, we, will, we really want to step off the ship, but we just don't know how. Because you're right there at the edge. You're right there at the edge. And you, you're looking at the lifeboat, and you're looking at what's going on in the lifeboat. You're looking at things that's happening over there. And so you almost ready to step out. Almost. Almost. But if you've been in the ship long enough, yeah, yeah. there ought to be something that was said while you was in the ship right, right. that would trigger your mind and say, uh-uh, hold on, for just a little while long. It ain't going to last always. We're going to get through this storm. We're going to make it. That's right. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. See, the ship, when you're in the ship, you're getting some worried. The word is coming for you. So you got to remember what's off in the ship. The word of God is in my ship. Yeah. On my ship, I read where it says, I'm more than a conqueror yeah. to him that loves me. Yeah. I read on my ship one day where it says, greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Uh -huh. That's in my ship. Come on, come on, bitch. That's in my ship. I read where it says, no greater love than a man has that he would lay down his own life for his, for his brother. That's in my ship. Amen. Come on. Yeah. My ship also says, I will bless the Lord at all, at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. That means I'm going to bless him when I'm in a storm. Yeah. I'm going to give God praise. Yeah. When my home is fell apart, yeah. I'm going to still say thank you, Lord. Because yeah. that's in my ship. That's in my church. Yes. Sometimes you got to call your church back up. Yes. You have to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting right. with your church. Right. You and your church. Y'all got to have a meeting. Y'all got to have a come to Jesus meet. Yes. You don't need no BF. You don't need no friends. You don't need no husband. You don't need no wife. You and yourself. Right. Got to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Yes. With your church. You, Examine yourself. But see, if my ship is still sailing in the right direction, or have we detoured while I was asleep? So I need to wake up 
and make sure that my anchor is still holding. I got to wake up. Wake up. Paul said it best. He said, wake up, O sleeper. Wake up, O sleeper. You sleeping in the ship that got away from you. He said, wake up. Wake up, O sleeper. Can't sleep through this storm. You got to open your eyes and see what Jesus is taking you to. And if you don't, if you don't ever go through a storm, then you're in a lifeboat. You, you searching for a life jacket. Hoping somebody throw your lifeline. But you got to stay with the ship. So you don't be lost. Stay with the ship. Go on through the storm. Stay with the ship. I got to stay with the ship. Friends leave. Family leave. But I got to stay with the ship. I got to stay with the ship. Because I know where my help is at. My help is in the ship. Everything I need is in the ship. My life is in the ship. My salvation is in the ship. And these men, they never knew that. But they, and the thing about it, I love about that, they weren't confessing to know the Lord. That's right. But they followed the instructions. Yeah, yeah. Paul said, don't do it. He said, stay with the boat. Amen. Stay with the boat. Stay with the boat. Stay with the boat. So, and, and, and by them staying with the boat, they survived. By you staying with the boat. So if you want to survive, you got to learn how to stay with the boat. Yeah. When trouble comes, you got to stay with the boat. Yeah. Whatever comes up in your life, you got to stay with the boat. Yeah. I'm reminded when, when the disciples was on the water and, and Jesus was on the boat with them and he was in the bottom of the boat sleep. Yeah. And a storm rose up. Yeah. While they was sailing across the lake. Peter and the rest of them. Jesus sleep. Yeah. Storm rising. Mm. Waves rising. Mm. He sleep. Yeah. What I'm just said, Lord, they woke him up. You ain't got to wake God up if he in the storm. All right. You just go through the storm. Yeah. Learn how to ride it out. Yeah. But them being natural men, that fear kicked in. Mm -hmm. They woke the, the Savior and said, Lord, don't you care that we perish? How you going? How your ship going down if Jesus is on board? How is your ship going to go down? If Jesus, now, I didn't say if somebody else. I said, but if Jesus is on board of your ship, your ship ain't going down. They woke Jesus up. Jesus Got up, stood up, spoke to the wind, spoke to the waves, everything got calm. Then he looks at them and said, oh, ye of little faith. Little faith. See, Jesus himself said, many, 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 many men honor me with their lips, but they hard. It ain't there. So why call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I ask you to do? That's what Jesus said. Stop calling him if you ain't going to do what he asked you to do. You want to call him only when you get in trouble. That's the way folks are. They only want to call you when they need something. They ain't going to text and call you, hey, how you doing? It's got to be a need on their end. But Jesus... Set them right here all the time. You got to put it in your ship, your church, that Jesus said, Lo and behold, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. That's what I want to be in my boat. Because I've already seen what other folks do. They jump ship, but quick. They get out that boat, you ain't you riding in in a minute. Let some trouble come up. Let something happen. They get out that boat. Uh -huh. You be like, where did she go? <laughs> Disappeared. She stole a life jacket and 
Bounced over. What you say? I didn't know. So in life, people will still do that, won't they? Oh, y'all y'all don't want to say no. Come on, bitch. You in the house. Huh? You in the house. Won't they still do that? Oh, y'all ain't never had that done then. You ever had that done? Huh? Your bestie? Yep. Your, your trusty? Yep. The one you broke bread with? Uh -huh. The one you gave your last to? Yeah. And then they did this? Why not trust the one that said, Lord, behold, I'm with you always? <laughs> Put that one on your ship. Okay. Take everybody else off your ship. Because can't nobody run your ship like Jesus can. Amen. Can't nobody control your ship like Jesus can. Amen. And see, with Jesus, he's not going to let your ship Sink. run a show. Ain't going to let nothing happen to your ship. You go through the storm, I'm in the storm, the next thing you know, you're out of the storm. You're trying to figure out how you got out the storm. Mm. Jesus did. So let him operate your ship. That's right. Amen. Stay with the ship. It ain't hard. It's not hard. And don't be stop running around here. Am I still on YouTube, Facebook? Yes, sir. Stop running around here telling people I'm yes. church hurt. What you say? You ain't church right now. <laughs> the building didn't do that to you. That's right. The building is where we come together to worship, right? Right. So the scripture tells me that when the sons of God came to present themselves, Satan came also. So guess what? Satan gonna come to church. Yeah. He did it back then. He's still doing it now. All right. Nothing changed. Amen. Nothing changed. Same thing. Same thing. Amen. Make sure who's in your boat. Yes, Lord. And make sure who's driving your boat. Amen. You got to make sure who's driving your boat, who's in your boat, and what they doing while they in your boat. Amen. You got to you got to recognize them. It's simple. It's a simple task. It's a simple task. Stay with the ship. Stay with the church. Church go through transition. God know about that. They supposed to go through transition. People come and go. Amen. People come and go. That's it. And if I wasn't anchored in Jesus and I know that he was the head of my life and, and that he was the captain of my ship, when people started to come and go, I might have would have left. That's right. it. Amen. Come on. Because some people base they coming and going on people. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Come on, bitch. That's right. Come on. They base it strictly on people. That's it. You going to church Sunday? Yeah, I'll be there. All right. I'll be there, too. Really? Well, when you die, I can't die with you. All right. Unless I'm caught up in some mess that go wrong with you. All right. Oh, it got quiet then. Amen. Come on, bitch. You can only be judged for yourself. That's it. For yourself. The scripture says every deed that we've done in the body, whether it was good or bad, we gonna be judged according to that deed. That's powerful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very, very powerful. It makes you, it should make you want to think. Yeah. You know, have I mistreated anybody? Like, uh -huh. Have I did something wrong to anybody? Because when you did it, guess what? Written down. It got wrote down. Amen. The date, the time, the minute, the hour. And the book was closed. Under your name. Yeah. Amen. Not under the DDCC name, under your name. But under your name. Okay. Amen. Because why? That's your church. That's your church. <laughs> your church. So you got to give an account of your church. Amen. Who church you got to give an account of? My, My church. church. My church. My three amigos. Yeah. Your church. 
Amen. You got to give an account of it. Amen. Not the pastor. Nope. But you. Amen. And I'm so glad God fixed it that way. Amen. I'm glad too. I'm so glad he fixed it that way. Because yeah. it would be hard for me to give an account for some folks. Yeah. I don't even know what's going on with them. I don't know. <laughs> I would, truthfully, it would be hard because I don't know. If God don't reveal it to me, I don't know. <laughs> but let us learn to stay with the boat. Amen. Amen. Let's stay with the ship. Stay with the ship. Keep the ship in your life. That's it. People come and go in your life. Uh, but the ship ain't going nowhere. Oh, gotta stay. Gotta stay. People come and go. But Jesus... So he ain't going nowhere. He be right there with you. People leave God. But I never read where God left people. People will walk away from God. Choose a different route. But I never have read where he walked away from his people. That's right. Even when his chosen people. The Jews. Even when they rejected him, yep. he just said, Whosoever will, let him come. Let him come. Yes. He didn't walk away from him. That's his chosen generation. So he didn't walk away. He just kept, he opened a door for us. And I'm glad he opened the door for us. I'm glad he said, whosoever will, let him come. Yeah. I'm glad he said that, bro. Because we was as Gentiles. A lot of people don't know it, but we were as Gentiles, which means we were outcasts. We wasn't even counted as a people. But when Jesus went to his very own, and they turned their back on him, Jesus just said, whosoever will. Let them come. That's it. Whosoever. Yeah. Let them come. Whosoever want to get saved, let, let them come. come. That's right. Whosoever, whosoever want to be filled with the Holy Ghost, Amen. let them come. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you so glad he did that? He didn't say you have to be set up a certain way. He didn't say you have to look a certain way. He just said, come. Yeah. Come. Come. Come with all your mess. Come with all your brokenness. Come with all your disappointments. He just said, come. That's all he said. And I'm so glad he did. Because he was one that was broken. Yeah. Tore up from the floor. Thought he had it all together. Thought he was doing something. Really wasn't doing nothing. Come on now. Nothing. But God. Saw fit one day. They called my name. Amen. To call my name. And when he called my name, he called me out of the junk. Yes, yes, yes. He called me out of the foolishness. Come on, come on. He, he called me out of the trouble situation. Yes. He called me out of distress. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Called me out of being oppressed. Yeah, depressed. <laughs> called me from having to go through depression. Yes, Lord. He called me. Amen. By my name. God is calling some folks today by their name. Start listening to him. And if you want to know why, some people really don't know. Let me say this. Some people really don't understand how God really moves with them. You may not be where you want to be. Or all that you want to be. All right. But as long as God is tugging on your spirit. For you to do something in his church. That's his first step. Come on now, y'all miss that. That's his first step to working on your church. That's his first step. When you start doing something and have a desire that you want to do something that you have not done, that's God tugging on your spirit. He's trying to 
Wake you up, old sleeper. Yeah. Okay, man. He's trying to wake you up. He said, I need you to wake up, old sleeper. I, I want to call your name. But I can't have the road call if you sleep. But he said, wake up. So he, he tugs on your spirit. He tugs on your heart. And before you know it, you start doing something that you normally wouldn't do. Amen. Amen. Things become unordinary to you. And then some of us be saying like, well, why, 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 why did I do that? Did I do that? Did I really do that? Did I, was that really me? No, it wasn't you, that was God. Trying to pull you in the direction that he wants you to go. Because he said, if I can get you into the boat, then I can begin to feed you while you're in the boat. And while I'm feeding you while you're in the boat, you become the way you don't want to get out the boat now. Amen. Because you hungry for the boat. Amen. That's what that is. So stop wondering. Stop questioning yourself. Because God says, get on the boat. Amen. He'll take care of the rest. Just get on the boat. That's all. Just, just, just get on the boat. So it shouldn't be no confusion. And anytime, any, anytime anybody wants to come and be a part of God's family, which is a body of believers with one mind to please God. And we can only please God when we learn how to please and trust each other. I need to say that again. That's the only time that we really can please God is when we learn how to trust and please each other. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. That's the only time. So while he's working on our spirit, while he's working on the junk that's in us, he's transforming us. He's pulling some stuff out, but he's putting some stuff in. Amen. He, he, he's taking out the stony heart, but he's putting a real heart in. Right. He's taking out the hatred, and he's replacing it with love. Yeah. He's right. taking out where there was no respect, he puts respect in there. Right. Even though you may not get it. Because right. I'm going to teach you how to respect them anyway. Right. I'm going to teach you how to walk up right before them anyway. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you, my Lord. Anyway. 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 Anyway, anyway, don't matter how they look at it, right. guys. I'm I'm operating your ship. Okay. Let me be the captain. All right. Let me drive. Yes. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. And when you get like that, oh, it's just things flow so easy. Mm -hmm. Jump is on your mind. Don't worry you no more. Amen. You learn how to see and don't see, Amen. hear and don't hear. Because some of you, yes. I heard you say something about me. Uh -huh. Sister Tony, I just want to get, get that straight. Uh -huh. <laughs> Show me what God acted like that. Okay. He said what now, if, if you think, uh -huh. if you think in your mind that you may have an alt, an alt is something that you've done, or your brother that you think they may have done to you, you that are spiritual, you that God has worked on their spirit, go to them in the spirit of meekness. Well, Sister Tony, I heard this, but I just really, I don't really believe. It. I just wanna, I just wanna get this thing straight, yeah. clarified. Cause I love you and I know you love me. Amen. Right. Can we do that? Amen. 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 Can we do that? Amen. That's what God said. Let's get it right. Yeah. And the ones that's coming in now, we ought to throw our arms around them. We ought to embrace them. We ought to encourage them. I'd be glad to see everybody when they come through. And I'm not asking you where you are, where you, where your, where, what your relationship is with the Lord. I'm just glad God said, go through the door. 
See, I learned how to let God do what he do. And if I do what I'm supposed to do, then I pass the torch to God. And then God does what he wants to do. And how he wants to do it. When he wants to do it. Yeah, God got a time limit set. Believe it. He has a time limit set for everybody. So when you step in and you start doing and you begin to feel good about what you're doing, uh-huh. don't doubt yourself. That's God. Yeah. That's God. God got a time set for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Y'all believe that? Yeah. Some supposed to get saved quicker than others. Amen. But it don't mean they won't get saved. Some gonna take a little bit more longer work. Amen. But that don't mean they won't get there. Amen. Huh? Because everybody's still a work in progress, even yes, me. Lord. Amen. I'll be the first one to raise my hand. Oh, I'm still a work in progress. Amen. Don't look at this robe and look at Pastor and what he got on. Think Pastor got it all together. Don't fool yourself. Work on that. Pastor still in the flesh. Hey, Pastor still get an attitude. All right now. I know that's right. Rubbing the wrong way. He might put you in your place, but he, then I got to go back to the altar and repent. <laughs> I'm real. just straight up. That's real. You know, I, I don't be in this and then try to hide behind this. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm way up here and y'all down there. No. I'm right down there with you. I'm right down there too. I'm, I'm still trying to work on my ship. Making sure God got me in check. Making sure my ship is going the right way. I'm still working on me. I am not arrived. The scripture said we are forever learning. learning, But not coming into the knowledge. That means long as we live, we're going to be learning something. (laughs) As long as you got breath in your body, you're going to be learning something. Yeah, you're going to learn something. Yeah. So we all are work in progress. But when we learn how to embrace and love and help each other, encourage one another, build one another up, when you learn how to put one another up, put somebody else up before you put yourself up. Think of others more highly than you think of your own self. That's how you get blamed. I had to learn that. I had to learn that. That is not about me. I had to learn that when God bless me, I'm blessed to be a blessing. I'm not blessed just to put in my pocket and say, I got this. I'm blessed to be a blessing. And I love the way God has that spirit in me. Yeah. So when God is moving and you know God has got you doing something, you keep doing it. Because that's your ship. See, some of us are still at the dock and God is loading the ship. But those that have left the dock, God is still working on that ship too. He's still working on that ship too. So don't worry about whether or not if you're still at the dock, you wait, your, your ship's still loading up. That's all right. Then stay right there and let God load it up. Then when the time is right, he's going to tell them to cut the ropes and let her sail. Let her sail on now. She got something she can, she got something she can stand with now. So when a storm comes in her life, she won't, she won't want to jump out the boat. She'll learn how to stay right there. Amen. Because God got a time set. Trust me. God got a time set. Set. For everybody in here. Yes. God got a time set. Amen. Yeah. You got a time set. Yes, got a time set. Got a time set for you. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yes, you one of those, you at the dock. Yeah. <laughs> you, you at the dock. You, you, you at the dock. Amen. You sitting at the dock. That's Sometimes right. you wonder, do I have enough to, to sail yet? No, you don't have enough to sail yet. But let him keep loading it up. 
Let them keep taking off some stuff. Cargo that don't need to be there. And put cargo on that needs to be there. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let, let them keep doing that. That's why you ain't left the dock yet. See, every time we pull into the dock, and if we want to grab some, the God said, take it away. No, no, I want to I I put that on there. Oh, yeah. I, I want to keep that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God said, you don't need that. Don't have That's a weight. Yes, he, he said, didn't I say, let us side every sin and the weight that so easily beset that's, you that's, uh -huh. so you can run the race with patience? Yeah. I need you to take that off and put it back. Put it back. On the dock. On the dock. On the dock. So I can, get, so I can pull your anchors up on your ship so you can move. Oh, y'all missed that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm on that ship by myself. And you wonder. Why? See, you ain't, you ain't by yourself. Here's another one right here. Uh -huh. That's right. Right here. That's right. Right here. Come on. Come right on. Right here. Right here. But see, it, it ain't going to be long. It ain't going to be long. Oh, yes, Lord. Because God, God tearing up. Hello. Hello. He tearing up. Yeah. It ain't going to be long. It ain't going to be long. Because see, as long as she stayed with the ship, That's right. God is still to feed. Yes, God. He started taking out stuff. Hallelujah. He started putting more stuff in. That's what it's about. Because she's still with the ship. That's right. See, you can't help but to sail as long as you stay with the ship. Stay with the ship. Yeah. Stay with the ship. You may not be where you want to be or all that you want to be, but stay with the ship because it comes. The word said, except the Lord build the Stay with the ship. So when you stay with the ship, those soldiers were saved. Amen. Why? Because they stayed with the ship. Stay with the ship, Nene. Stay with the ship. Stay with the ship. Because you you gonna get saved. Amen. And you're gonna get filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. It's coming. Hallelujah. It's coming. And and, and I, I go as far as to say this. The beauty of it, the way it's going to happen, you're going to be doing what you like to do. Uh -huh. yes. 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 And I ain't talking about out there. That's right, this house. This house. <laughs> right here. Right here. It's going to happen. It's going to be up. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. But I promise you, if you hang around the ship long enough, Woo! just hang around long enough, yeah, something will happen. Yeah. I promise you that. Something will happen. The only way it don't, you jump ship. Ooh, no, don't jump the ship. Y'all stay in the ship. But if you stay with the ship, no souls to be lost. Stay with the ship. Stay with the ship. You new, you you like a you like a new babe. You standing there at the dock, looking at the ship. Come on, bitch. Come on. See, you, 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 you'll mind how the ship looks and how big the ship is. And then you wondering, is there space on there for me? Can I can I get on that ship? Yes, you can, daughter. Yes, you can. You can get on that ship. Cause that ship says, whosoever will. Let him go. And on that ship, you ain't got to have no ticket. That's right. You ain't got to pay no fare. Just get on board. Just get on board. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Just get on board the ship. And stay right there with it. That's all. That's all you got to do. So if we ready to stay with the ship? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Are we ready to stay with the ship? Yeah. Huh? Amen. We ready to stay with the ship? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I just want to know if we ready. Because this ship, this ship here is about to sail. Oh, this ship It's about to sail. The anchors have already been pulled up. And we are slowly drifting from the dock. See, the only way that ship don't move is the anchors got to come up. 
So God has pulled up the anchor for DDCC. And you are slowly drifting away from the dark. And I ain't looking back. Because I caught enough hard time at the dock. I'm ready for my ship to sail. And I ain't going to look back. Because when I look back, I, I get saved. And I want to keep my peace. I want to keep my joy. I want to keep my happiness. So I'm looking ahead. And I'm trusting God. Because he got the ship. DDCC. The ship is moving. Stay with the ship. Stay with the ship, y'all. That's higher heights. Yeah. Deeper depth. Yes. God got greater. Greater. Yes. Greater. 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 Greater for all of us. Yeah. It's old saying used to say, be sure and be very sure yeah. that you want to ride this ship. Yeah. Be very sure. Be very sure that you want to ride on this ship. Because this ship, everybody going to be blessed. Amen. Everybody gets something out of it. Yeah, everybody. But I thank God today.